Tonight I'll be reading from a tome. Um, this is a Laura Lay novel entitled Naughty Nights. A brief synopsis about our main characters. James Dog McKay has lusted after sweet Krista Jansen for years. Just as many as she spent running from him. And from that dangerous attraction, that shot like a spark through her whole body. But for Krista, running isn't an option anymore because Dog's got a plan. <laughs> Chapter 13. Krista wasn't aware of when he released her wrists. She was only aware that the second his lips parted from hers, the velvety texture and flaming heat were gone. Her hands tightened in his hair. She lifted closer, a keening cry leading her throat as her nipples raked over his chest. And the denim covered heat of his erection pressed against the saturated flesh of her pussy. You like that, don't you, Krista? He shifted against her, raking his chest over the sensitive tips. Watching her face as she fought to hold back another cry. I like that, she admitted. <laughs> Shivering violently as he calloused palms rasped down her naked back. I always love your hands, dog. Always love your touch. She arched her head, falling back against the mirror behind her as his hands lifted closer, his lips moving to her neck, his tongue licking her flesh before his teeth rasped over her tender nerve endings. I dreamed of this. Her breathing faltered as her eyes drifted closed. So long, I dreamed of this. And she had, during those first pain-ridden months away from Somerset, through the loneliness of the years, <laughs> she had spent away from home. She had dreamed of him in his touch. Did you dream of this, sweetheart? Rasping rough in his voice was but a breath ahead of the silken rasp of the beginnings of a beard long his cheeks and jaw. I dreamed of this. Her thighs lifted along his hips, clutching at him as his arms moved from the shoulders, moving between them, searching for the zipper of his jeans, for the fierce, thick flesh beneath. His chuckle was low. His chuckle was a low breath of arousal and denial. His hands caught her wrists, dragging them back up to his body. This time I get to savor you. No, dog. She shook her head, moaning at the thought of what she knew he intended. What he had done first time before taking her. Yes, Krista, he growled. Then he was dying, drawing back from her, lifting her before turning and stepping to the bed, tossing her to it before he followed. He didn't even give her time to protest what she knew he wanted, what she wanted. His hands immediately spread her thighs, pushing her knees up as his head bent to the wet flesh aching for his touch. Oh, God, dog. She ate. She moaned as his tongue licked slowly through the saturated folds. Yes, oh yes, I need this. She needed it. She hungered for it. He growled against her swollen curves, licked his tongue, moving through the velvet roughness around her swollen clit as she stretched beneath him, arched to his mouth, and did nothing to hold back her cries. You taste like fucking summer. <laughs> His voice sounded angry, harsh, but she knew that voice. It wasn't anger that drove him. It was the surefoot of lust that poured from every cell of his body. Dog couldn't believe how sweet and hot she tasted. Smoother than whiskey, yet more potent. Sweeter than candy, and more addictive than drugs. I guess all drugs. He buried his tongue in the sweetness, licked and sucked at it, tried to draw enough of the creamy syrup into him to seat himself on the taste of her. <laughs> if he could ever sate himself with each lick, each taste, he only burned for more. Dog, 
She twisted beneath him as he threw his fragile bud of her clit into his mouth in a long, firm kiss, a tiny suck, and a flick of the tongue before he released it. No, she whispered breathlessly. I like that. Oh, I like that so much. How much do you like that, sweetheart? He was dying for more of her. He smoothed his fingers along her saturated curls, feeling the syrup cling to them, tasting the sweetness of her against his tongue as he licked around the swollen little butt of her clit once again. I love it, she whimpered. Oh, God, dog, I love it. Her clit throbbed against his tongue almost as fiercely as his cock was throbbing in his jeans. He was wild for her, driven by her hunger that made no sense to him that had the senses consumed by her, his muscles tight with the need to taste her, touch her, fuck her. 